Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. And if you're new, Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. All right, let's do another versus. Yeah. All right. Big shout out to my boy Extra Zero. He found me a uh, Autobot Blaster with a jet from Kingdom. So I was like, why don't we do a versus? Why not? So we're going to do it against Top Returns. Yay. So yeah, I uh, had the box for Top Returns. I have no clue where it's at. It's packed up somewhere. But I'm going to show the box off real quick for him. Beautiful as always, Kingdom. Uh, you may hear some rain, man. It's raining hard there. Uh, but there you go. Love the box art as always. Looks really good. Now, he comes with Eject. Um, I don't have... They, I don't think they did Eject for uh, Time Returns. I think they did Rewind. I have him somewhere. I put him up. They were kind of crappy. I'll show you some pictures and stuff of him next to uh, Eject, but it's not even a close call. Uh, so there you go. But once again, here's the back. Yeah, it's thundering. Golly. And uh, he transforms in 20 steps, all that wonderful stuff. So there you go. So yeah, let's just get right to this versus. I'm looking forward to it because I love doing these. They're fun. If you like them, hit that like button. It really shows you know that you like it. All right, let's get right to it. Yeah. All right, let's take a quick look what he come with. This is Time Returns, and this is Kingdom. So um, he didn't come with the tape. He came with kind of like a, a blank slate kind of thing going on. Uh, this really uh, works well. It does go in the chest, and it works well with the uh, base mode. Uh, everybody knows Time Returns has some base modes, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, very nice. Got some nice silver paint right here. Like that. Some sculpt work right there. And the little Titan Master, which is a twin cast, which is a cool name. Uh, he will fit in there too as well. And uh, we'll take a look at twin cast in a second, but we'll look at his weapon. It's not his sculpted. Got some nice sculpt work in there. No paint. Kind of just black plastic, but very nice on the sculpt work. I like that. And then here's twin cast. Everybody knows Titan Returns. Their uh, gimmick was a headmaster. And here he is. Nice silver paint for the face. Uh, he's got some yellow eyes too as well. So very nice. And he was a little tight master. You can turn around or transform a little bit right there. And he looks like a blaster. Nice silver paint and blue. Looks like kind of blue in there. Bluish. Uh, not very much articulation. You can lift up the arms. That's about it. And you can lift up his legs a little bit. But like I said, you can... Put them in there. And like I said, I'll show you this in the base mode. And the little flying little disc mode. Ooh. A little futuristic car. All right. Move on to um, Kingdom. They do come with this little sticker thing. I got Black Rackney. All right. Cool stuff. I guess. Then you got his rifle, which looks really good. No paint either. Just uh, some scope work. Looks pretty good. And here's the difference in the guns. Now, uh, Time Returns is a leader class. Kingdom is a Voyager class, so they're going to be different scales, but pretty good. This kind of looks like a brownish color, too. But there you go. And he comes with Eject. Now, a lot of people are not liking this because it's got the clear plastic. If you know my channel, I love clear plastic, and I love this, too, as well. That's going to be their little gimmick for Legacy is the clear plastic weapon stuff, but very nice. Looks pretty good. Like the gold paint right there. Threw out right there. Looks good. Kind of looks like a mask. Kind of like a two eyes and a face. Now, transformation is real easy. Should be. Um, well, here, let me um, put this on the side. I'll show you what um, Rewind looks like for Titan Returns. I'll put a picture up there next to him. Hopefully, we'll get enough room. And you can see. Right there. Um, uh, Rewind also turns into a tank. He's like, he's like a triple changer. Let me see if I can find something to... Try to get this thing out, his little head out. There we go. Yeah, like. And then take the legs out. A little easy transformation. And then turn the head around. Turn that around. Turn that around. And there you go. So very nice. This is Eject. Like I said, I don't think they made a tight return to Eject, I don't think. But there you go. Very nice. You got some nice orange for the faceplate. And I think probably little blue eyes. I can't really tell the difference. But uh, he can look back 
quite a bit or look up quite a bit because of the ball joint not much down swivel and a little attitude so a little wiggle waggle right there uh all the way around swivel right there you go up to there you do got a little elbow bend and a swivel and that's it love the translucent little light blue looks really good love the gold uh no waist full or anything like that you can band him all day every day with him kick up kick back knee bend because the ball joint but there you go but let me see if i can put up a picture next to the uh rewind from top returns and like i said this one looks a whole lot better than what he does so there you go so that is everything that comes with those let's talk about blaster all right all right and there they are in their boom box modes and like i said he is a leader class so he's going to be a bigger and this is voyager class but you know more g1 you know he looks a lot better not saying this one does not look bad at all i mean i think it looks good it looks fine you know just like this it gets better you know transformers as they you know go after year after year you know they're going to be made better but like i said really think that, you know def this one definitely looks better than this one but this one's not too terrible at all uh he does have a little eject button right there like i said there's a little thing right there that little blank slate now you can put in um Eat or a rewind in there as well because I don't have rewind but out but uh there you go so like I said like I said, it is a lot bigger you know he's a good speaker bigger than what the uh kingdom one is and like that so look on that and then you look on the back right here so and they do have storage for their uh, weapons. You can put this right here if you want to. And uh, he has a little slot right here. You can see it, it'll focus, a little slot right there. And you can um, slot in right there. Or you have other ports right here. You can um, put them up like this if you want to. Um, you know, either way you want to, but I like it right there. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, so you got a storage space. So there you go. Uh, we'll take a quick look at uh, each one individually. We'll take a look at top returns once again. Nice, nice Autobot symbol right there. Uh, not any paint. I mean, it kind of looks, you know, the this tan kind of looks, it's got some sparkles in it. Some glitter. Uh, I don't think it's paint, but, you know, there's paint right here. You got some red and tan paint right there. I so see you got the nice yellow, all that stuff on the side. Close that up a little better. Now that did, uh, these do really untab easy. They don't stay tabbed in that, you know, they're decent, but if you start moving stuff around, they will start untabbing. And there's the back. It does got some waffles and stuff. Here's underneath. You got the speakers and stuff. You'll see that in bot mode. So there you go. Very nice. Put him over to the side, and then we'll take a look at Kingdom Blaster. And I like this one. It looks really good. Now, that yellow right there is painted. I love the Autobot symbol. Got the nice translucent, I want to say blue right there. You got some nice details for the knobs and stuff, and all that's black paint. Got little uh, speakers right there. Looks really good. I like that. Then the side, you got right there. Very nice in the back. You know, it, you know, most of the time Blaster really didn't clean up in the back. You got some nice gappage in there. Underneath, you got some gappage. But overall, the front looks really good. And you can eject him in there. Looks pretty good. So eject, eject. Very nice. But yeah, that is a very nice Blaster. So there you go. Let me bring him back over here. Like I said, this one looks good, the, you know, but this one does not look terrible, you know, if that makes sense. But overall, I definitely like the look of that one. So there you go. There's Blaster in his alt modes. And real quick, you know, Blaster's not going to ever scale with anything, hardly. But there is a Siege Red Alert from a Deluxe Scale. Then you got two Legends, Wheelie and Prowl. Just for, you know, some scale. But like I said, it's way out of scale. How many times can you say scale, scale, scale? Crappy garnets and crappy tool paper, pepper spray, care birds, and kicker for more scale.
Real quick, like I said, Blaster from Titan Returns does turn into like a base mode. So he's kind of a triple changer. And you can attach him to uh, other Titan Returns, you know, uh, either Triptychon, you know, Metroplex, some of those other big Titans. And you can, you know, build on to other stuff and have like a little play set. So the playability is there. It's really fun. Uh, but there he is. Like I said, you can attach him right here. And there's attachment right here. And you got all this stuff. And you can take all the Battle Masters and you can set them up here. You can set them up here. You got the weapons right here. You got these little stains like that, you know, right there. So, you know, playability is there. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's not terrible. You know, it is, you know, it's, it's fine, you know, but there he is. It's got a little, you know, battle station right there. So there you go. That is the uh, base mode for time returns. And you can also, I'm sorry, you can also, uh, you know, add him in if you want to eject. Uh, you can set him up here if you want to, you know, play around. So pretty cool. If you can stand up, you're going to stand up. Nope. All right. Just lay there then. All right. But there you go. That is Time Returns base mode for Blaster. All right. Back from transformation. And both of them really have fun transformations. They're, you know, quite easy. But I really like the engineering on uh, the Kingdom one. It's really good. But as you can tell, there is a huge, huge size difference all across the board. He is very tall. Like I said, he is leader class. Leader class has gotten a little smaller. So have Voyagers uh, throughout the years. But there is the difference. Uh, both of them hold their weapons just fine. You can hold them in each hand. Doesn't matter. And if you want to, if you can, if you want to, uh, you know, carry them back here, you can do that if you want to. Kind of looks weird, but um, you have that option if you want to. Or you can put it back here if you want to as well. And with him, I don't, yeah, I think you can do the same thing if you want to with him as well. If you want to store it back here, you can. So you have that option. But yeah, well, there you go. That is, wow, he is a whole lot taller than the Kingdom one. Uh, but we'll take a look at each one individually. We'll take a look at Titan Returns. All right, there is Titan Returns Blaster. And like I said, he does have the Headmaster gimmick. You kind of remember Galvatron. He has a little helmet. So you got Twin Cast right there. You just flip over that. He does have some uh, nice paint. Uh, let me see. Got nice silver paint right here. Nice uh, translucent visor. Silver paint right there. I think this head part right here, the, that is painted red too as well. That is good. So very nice. You got some nice silver paint, blue paint, yellow paint right here. Got the nice Autobot symbol. Nice translucent right there. Um, he does have some paint right here as well. Some paint right here, some decals. This is painted. If, if it isn't, it's really shiny black plastic. It's got some metal flakes in there. Just same thing with this. This got some little flakes in it for the uh, kind of tannish right there. Red paint, blue paint, very nice. You got the toes. And then you got the back. You got that thing right there. Yellow paint right there. You got the big old speakers and you got the big old gaps. Now he is real blocky. Um, you know, he's got the blocky shoulders. You know, he's got the blocky legs. He just a big old block. He got some black paint right there too as well. Uh, as far as articulation, all right, you swivel side to side, uh, look down, not much at all, not much at all uh, looking up either. It's just because of the helmet, it doesn't really do anything. So just mainly swivel, and so you can't open that, that looks good. All right, nice soft ratchets right there, very good. Nice hard ratchets up to there, very nice. Another soft ratchet, uh, 90 degrees, and you do got a swivel right there. Nothing for the hands. They do go in and out just because of transformation. You do got a little gapage right there. Um, no waist swivel for him, unfortunately. Uh, you do got these little side skirts. You can go all the way out. Nice soft ratchets. You can Van Dam all day, every day. You can kick up. Nice soft ratchets. Uh, not the full 90, just about there. You do got some waffles in there. Uh, kick back to right there. Okay. Yeah, and then you got a nice uh, thigh swivel right there. Uh, nah, not 90 degrees for the knee bend, but almost there. Uh, you do got toe tilt up and toe tilt down and a nice rocker too as well. So that's good. You got nice feet movement. And then, yeah, so not bad. You know, he's not a terrible blaster, but, uh, you know, they've gotten better. But, you know, he was uh, pretty good. I liked him out of tight returns. So there you go. That is Blaster from Titan Returns. 
All right, and there is Kingdom Blaster. We'll take a quick look at him. But uh, look at his weapon. Um, you can fit a blast effect on there. This one, I had to spread it out. You know, you see it, you know, it spread out a little bit. Um, not all of them will fit on there. So it's kind of strange that the uh, blast effects are not working for this one. I know he's going to be part of the Legacy line as well that we're going to repackage him. Uh, and I don't think, I don't think Legacy is maybe not going to work with Blast Effects. That really sucks because I like the Blast Effects. But you can if you force it a little bit. But like I said, not all of them is going to fit on there. All right. So let's take a look at Blaster. And he looks freaking awesome. I like it. That head sculpt is beautiful. Very nice. Got some nice uh, kind of gray paint right there. That might, his face right there is gray too as well. That's a different gray. It's a lighter one. And you got some nice baby blue eyes. Love that. Once again, the yellow paint, you saw that. The nice Autobot uh, symbol. You do got nice translucent blue. And you can put uh, Eject in there. You do got some sculpt work in there too as well. Nice little tape thing right there. Looks pretty good. Hope you were able to see that. So that's very nice. Uh, some That might be painted too. The black is really shiny. So that's good. Uh, no other paint for that. No paint. You got some nice sculpt work throughout. You do got the red paint right here and there. That's nice. Move it on down. No other paint. That's all gray plastic with black plastic, black plastic. So not a whole lot of paint on uh, when you in, in the bottom. Now, alt mode, you can see a lot of it. You know, you got a lot of black details back here and everything. You do got some ports in there if you want to put some stuff in there if you want to. Battle Masters. You can arm them up too if you want some weaponizer. I'm sure you can battle them up too as well. But yeah, see, you see the black paint back there. And you do <laughs> waffles. I think go better. And some other ones have already made some filler kits for him. So if you want to do it, it kind of, you know, at least the, you know, the uh, plastic is black. So it's not that easy to see. I mean, you can see it, but it kind of blends in well. But they have made some uh, fillers for that already. So if you want to get that, that is cool. And you got the uh, finger right there. So that is Blaster. And let's do some articulation. Yay. All right. Look down a little bit. Not much. Nothing to, nothing to write home about. Look up. Once again, nothing very, you know, very much to, but you do got side to side and you got a little add to. I like that. I like the head sculpt. It looks good. All right. Up to there. 90 degrees. Very good. All the way around. Once again, you got some nice sculpt work throughout there and throughout the forearm. A um, little more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. That is good. Bicep swivel. You do got this gappage. I kind of wish this one would tab in a little better. But if you're moving the hand, it will, you know, start sinking in. So I kind of wish it tabbed in a little better somewhere. It got hold better right there. I wish they put a flap right there. Uh, no swivel or anything like that. Just in and out because of transformation. And there you go. Let's do some waist swiveling. That's awesome. Van Dam all day, every day. Love doing that. Kick up. Very nice. Move the butt flap, kind of which of the butt flap wasn't there. You could maybe move it, you know, put it somewhere, but eh, it's all right. Who doesn't like a good butt flap? Uh, kick back to there. Very nice. Thigh swivel. Uh, 90 degree for the knee bend. That is awesome. Uh, toe tilt uh, down just the toe and a little up, but you do got a nice rocker. So, you know, it is what it is. And you got the little speakers. They do move a little bit too as well. Boom, 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 boom. Drop that bass, bass. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. No trouble. So there you go, the back. All right, looks pretty nice. But except for the little waffles. Oh, nice butt flat. All right. So that is Blaster in a nutshell. All right. All right, and then there are next to Retgar from Studio Series. You got Ironhide. Now you got Galvatron from Time Returns. And you got a leader class, uh, the Megatron mold. Uh, this was the Jurassic Park one. And then you got those two. You can see, this is what a leader class is scale right now. That's what it was in Time Returns. And this is a Voyager back there. And this is a Voyager right now. So they have shrunk. Well, there you go. That's some scale for you. Crapper garnets, crappy toilet paper, pepper spray, Care Bear, Squeaks, and Kicker for more scale.
folks, that concludes my verses with Titan Returns Blaster with Twin Cast as Headmaster, and you got Kingdom Blaster with a Eject. Um, not even close. I mean, come on now. Now, if you like this one, you win. That's all that matters. If you think this one is your blaster, hey, that's all that matters. Doesn't matter what I say, you win. But overall, come on now, that blaster looks a lot better. But this one is not a bad one. It, you know, it's a fun transformer. It's one of the great, you know, better molds in Time Returns, I think. Um, you know, you got the boombox mode, looks really good. You got a base mode, so the playability is there. Uh, so yeah, and the uh, bot mode does not look terrible. It does got some, you know, unsightly spots, you know, with the uh, big old gas down there. But other than that, it's not terrible looking. You know, I like it. It's not bad, not bad at all. You know, like the articulation is pretty good. You know, it does got some strong ratchets, you know, and it is a big bot. You know, he is leader class. You know, but they are bigger than the leader classes we have now. Uh, but, you know, he doesn't come with a tape or anything, but he comes with this little thing. So uh, the tapes, you know, definitely uh, eject looks a whole lot better than rewind. But like I said, overall, you know, articulation is pretty good. It doesn't have a waist swivel. That, you know, if he had a waist swivel, that would have been a lot better. Uh, he is boxy. You know, he is really boxy with the shoulders and all that stuff. But uh, overall paint, pretty, you know, decent, not terrible. Uh, but, yeah, the, the Kingdom one. He just looks good. As far as Eject, I love the clear. I don't know, you know, a lot of people doesn't like that. I like it. I like where they're going with that, with the weapons are going to be uh, nice translucent blue and stuff. But I think it looks pretty good. Uh, overall, not bad. Not bad. It doesn't look, does it look like a tape in alt mold? Eh, eh, not really. You got to squint your eye and kind of look, you know, uh, it kind of does. Uh, but yeah, this one, transfer. I love the boom box. It looks really good. Paint really shows out, you know, there, you know, a bunch of scope work and details. And everything like that. Transformation is fun. The engineering is really cool. I like the weapons. I like that weapon too. It's not bad. Uh, you can put a couple blast effects on there. Not all of them will fit. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, very good. Articulation is really good across the board. Only needs a, you know, like a waist, I mean, an ad crunch. That would have been cool. Or maybe uh, a butterfly. But other than that, the paint is really good. Not a whole lot in bot mode, but uh, it, it does look good. I like that eject thing. That's nice. And you got that. Kind of wish he would have had a switch out hand instead of had just, you know, the booger picker finger out there. But And it does have some waffles. Uh, but I, like I said, Go Better, I think, has a fix for those. So you can fill those gaps and everything. But yeah, you know, come on. Overall, you know, it just, the Kingdom one looks really good. Wish it would have maybe been, you know, leader class. It would have been a little taller. That would have been pretty sweet. Maybe we'll get one later down the line. Uh, it would have been cool if he would have been an 86 movie line with the studio series. But uh, we got him for Kingdom, and they're going to repackage him for Legacy as well. But overall, in my opinion, this one's a better one. But if you like this one, it's not a bad option either as well. So you really can't go wrong with either. But I, I choose the Kingdom one. He just looks he looks freaking awesome. All right, well, I hope you liked that. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me which one you like. Do you like the Kingdom one, or do you like the Titan Returns one? And like I said, whichever one you like, you win. That's all that matters. So I guess I'll see you in the next uh, versus kind of thing. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Blaster. And good night, folks.